Guys, welcome back to the channel. The weather, beautiful. If you guys are anything like me, seasonal depression is a mother tucker and a half. So anyway, getting back into things. In the last video, we put the wheel spacers on the back of Leah, but that wasn't important. What was more important is the direction that we want to go with the truck. So it's, I'm, I'm pretty well set and solid on it. So what I want to do today. A girthy gal. Her bumper's effed. This one's not as effed. It's straight. Straighter. We're not going to be using this anyway. It's going to have to come off. Because we're going to have, you know, some sort of flatbed, service bed. We're going to have something sick on here. So we're not going to have a regular bumper anyway. And that, as far as I'm concerned, is scrap. So we're keeping the truck as she is for just a minute. Because... Again, uh, your boy is worse than a teenage girl. I can't make a god dang decision. Well, that's a lie. I can make a decision. It's just... I kept telling myself I was going to do this building stages, but... I don't do stages well. It's balls deep or nothing. So, anyway, we're going we're gonna to rip that rear bumper off. We're going to put this one on. We're going to add that to the scrap. And then we got to talk about Lucille for just a minute. And she might be kind of stuck where she's at because we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about her. And now obviously we're going to do all the work out of the truck because why the hell would we not? popped off hitches out we've got everything soaking uh we turned around we soaked the bolts on the donor chassis too and then i had a little bit of a squirrel moment and i was looking at this thing because i was trying to figure out where the hell i want to cut this thing and do the old extendomatic to it you know so what i was thinking yes young man Uh, you're awkward. So anyway, what I was thinking is that I want to get the cab on here, get it to where it steers, okay? And then I want to get this underneath there, that way regardless we're, we're covered and it's not taking up barn space. Um, or actually even where Big Country's at, I really got to get that thing done, get that the hell out of here. Um, but then what I was thinking is once we get a stationary, we're gonna zip these rivets out and zip them out in the back where my young nemesis is standing. And, oh, thanks bud. And then pop those off, completely clear that. Cut this probably somewhere in here because if we go longer, that's that shit's gonna have to move anyway. And then do what we gotta do. I like that. I like that. Anyway, back to work. That's enough. Okay, we're gonna put a little heat on that situation. Yep, good job. Get that out of the way. That was some good thinking, Pops. That was real good thinking. Proud of you for that. goes a long way. Papa John taught me that. I'll hold the bumper. Go ahead and you gotta hold this up. Squeeze that trigger. Need a little pry bar action? Yep. You're good to go. All right, you gonna hold that? Yep. All right, you gonna be strong? <laughs> Kiddo, you are strong. All right, can I take this? Yep. All right, buddy. Thank 
Pinocchio. Welcome. All right, now we go. <laughs> he got the big hammer. You okay now that we're done pounding? You. You, you don't like it when I pound on Leah, do you? No. <laughs> you, you got an addiction to that hammer, boy. You are definitely mine. Destruction is the answer. Quick, uh, quick look. So, I don't know if you guys saw the footage or not, but Ray was freaking out. Leah is his truck. Um, but I was able to pound out... I was able to pound out where the damage happened with the old equalizer there. Got Thor in the making here. And we were able to get the tailgate, which the tailgate, my OG folks will know this, though the, the tailgate's the nicest part of Leah. This is 100% hers. It is 110,000% rust free. I always took it off in the winter time, which is why when this little incident happened, thankfully, it wasn't on. Because I was, I was already borderline crying when this happened because of, well, as you can see how beautiful she is. But I would have been ten times more pissed had it taken out my tailgate with it. So I am going to adjust with the old equalizers. A few more things. We're going to cinch this rig down and I, yeah, I honestly I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't do this longer. A long time, I'm upset that I didn't do this a while ago. Those are the words I'm looking for. And then we're gonna clean, we're gonna get these off the rest of the way because that's scrap. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the cabs ripped off. I'm trying to get the shit ripped off of this one, the, the donor truck out yonder. I want that one off, the rest of the scrap that goes with that because we have a lot of scrap and shit that's built up and again I take great pride in where i live and i take great pride in my home and my property and i don't like having junk all over it and i don't have i don't like having things taken apart all over it so let's get back to it yeah so my other camera died but not that anybody cares about watching me do a time lapse they get a little tiring after a while but my goodness gracious. Becky, would you just look at her butt? I mean, goodness golly. Like I said, we we smacked out a good amount of that dent there. It's still dented, but it looks so much better. And now all this just spiraled out of control because I happen to have some wheel spacers. So that's pretty cool. I absolutely... I. I love this truck. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It needs a bath. But I think I'm just gonna sit here and stare at it for a little bit. I dig it. I know we were gonna talk about Lucille, but I don't much feel like spoiling that moment. You've earned the spotlight. We're just going to kind of leave it at that. Now, I know a lot of you are probably looking at this going, why does this hillbilly give two shits about this hillbilly mobile? This thing's a money-making son of a bitch. Let me tell you. My favorite work truck. When I purchased a truck because I needed to pull trailers, I needed to work out of it, I needed to snow plow, and then there were times where I needed to do a combination of that 
and this, that, and the other, she absolutely 110% understood the assignment. So, I'm gonna drink a beer and I'm gonna stare at this thing. So, take care. God bless. Be good to one another. See you on the next one. Which will be Lucille. <laughs> <laughs>